Good evening. Welcome back to Sunday Night Discipleship. We hope that your day has been fantastic and that you've had a great time spending time with family and, and uh, just reflecting on what God uh, gave us through our morning message uh, today. And we're so glad again that you're with us uh, as we journey through God's Word and through Mark Batterson's book, If. It's a fantastic read. If you've not had an opportunity to pick up a copy for yourself, it can be found on Amazon. You can get it in paperback form or on the Kindle app. And it's something that I believe will be a blessing to you and uh, just something that will encourage you throughout this time as we are at these stay-at-home orders and such. Something to read, something to uh, engage your mind in that is positive, that is encouraging. The premise of the book is, is relatively simple. Trading your if-only regrets for God's what-if possibilities. Trading your if-only regrets for God's what-if possibilities. And tonight, we're going to be looking at the second section of the book. It's simply called As If. And once we get done here, I would encourage you, go to Right Now Media, find the book study. It is in the Heartland Worship, uh, Worship Center library on the left-hand side of the screen. And join us as we watch that, that study together. If you don't have Right Now Media, you can sign up for that on our webpage at hwcagra.com. It's free, and we would love to give that to you as a great digital resource full of Bible study and encouragement. But let's get back to section two for just a moment of the book, As If. I want to start with a scripture that many of us are very familiar with, Philippians chapter four and verse 13, that says, I can do all things through Christ who, uh, who strengthens me. This is a scripture that we see posted and promoted through a lot of different venues. But I want to begin this, this introduction to section two tonight with that scripture. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. A quote from the book says this, We've already begun to explore the power of what if, but let's turn our attention to its second cousin, as if. The mind doesn't know the difference between what is real and what is imagined, which is why as if is so full of potential. Of course, as if must be anchored to the truth. We're talking about the possibilities that God has for us, the, 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 the mission or the vision that God has for our lives as a pastor of a church. We believe in the biblical mission for God's church, and we also look for and, and work to, to be about the vision that God has for his church. But I believe God has a mission and a vision for each one of us. And the trick or the, the, the key into discovering that, that mission and vision is getting grounded in God's word and discovering his heart, his love, his character, all that he is, discovering his, his awesome attributes and placing our full faith and trust in him, believing that God has great things ahead. Do you believe that tonight, that God has great things in store for you? I know it might be kind of hard to understand as we're in this moment of, of seclusion, in this moment of isolation as our as our country, well, as the entire world is battling this pandemic. But God has great things in store for you. And the way we become grounded or we begin to dream about these things is to be fully grounded in God's word, to be anchored in his truth, to be anchored in his love and to trust in his words. I want to present this quick thought to you before we dismiss from here and go to Right Now Media. Do you believe all of the powerful things that God says about you? Do you believe in the potential that God sees in you? Do you understand that God doesn't see you as a, as a sinner or see you as broken or see you as somebody that, that is unable to, to do these, these great things? God sees in you a potential like no other. Jesus Christ came to this world. He spoke life to people where the world would otherwise speak death. Where the world spoke condemnation, God, Jesus, spoke transformation. And in you tonight, I believe God is speaking to you. God is revealing to you an amazing vision, awesome, if possibilities, if you will. But the key is knowing God, knowing his word, and being anchored in his truth. So oftentimes we will anchor our emotions in things that will leave us, well, leave us high and dry. If we anchor our emotions in things of this world, I can promise you, you will be disappointed. But if you anchor your life, if you anchor all that you are in the truth of who God is, I can promise you this. 
you won't be disappointed. God comes through time and time again, but you got to trust in him. You got to know his word. You got to believe in his timing. So I want to pray with you as we discover these if possibilities for your life. And after we get done here, again, I encourage you, go to Right Now Media and watch section two of this study, As If. Let me pray with you tonight. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this time that we can come together and explore your word and explore the thoughts presented by this author, Mark Batterson. And Lord, I pray that as we go through this study, that our minds would be open, God, to the truth, God, to the encouragement, God, that we would listen to your spirit, God, that we would follow your guiding and direction, because I believe even in this season right now of uncertainty, God, that you are going to beginning, or you're going to begin to unlock doors of opportunity before us, opportunity in which we can grow spiritually, in which we can see your church grow numerically, God, that we would see amazing things happen as we jump on those what if possibilities. God, bless your church. Continue to touch us, Lord, and continue to protect us, Lord, in this time. God, as we fight that, that, that virus, bring healing, God. God, bring healing to this situation tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We hope that you'll go to Right Now Media and watch section two of the study, If. Have a wonderful night in the Lord.